back to my channel, Let's Clean and Decorate with Gigi. In today's video, we're going to start our series of decluttering our home. Today, we're going to be working on the laundry room. The laundry room has a lot going on, and you'll see that in just a minute. So come on with me. It's 2024, and we're going to be doing our whole house declutter, and we're going to start out with the laundry room. So please subscribe to my channel. It will really help my channel out a lot. And don't forget to hit that like button. That like button lets me know that you're glad that I'm here and you're watching and enjoying my videos. So come on, let's get started. Okay, let's get our cleaning products together. We're gonna use some Lysol cleaner. Um, these are microfiber cloths from Walmart. I need a trash bag and we're gonna need a bucket and some hot water and of course my glove because this is gonna get real nasty. So let's get started. Okay, let's get started. This is something that has to be done. This is the drawer up underneath my washer. I have packs and packs of pods. Pods full and some are not even halfway full. So we're gonna clean this drawer out, discard some of these empty containers. Um, I also have bottles of fabric softener. You know, when you get down to the last little bit of fabric softener and that one more use, you just want to rinse that bottle out and put that little bit in that washing machine. How many of all, you all do, do that too? Please leave in the comment. That's a bottle of vinegar, empty. Nothing in it. Don't know if it wasted out in the bottom or what. We just have so much stuff under here. This is a mess. So let's get started and get these drawers cleaned out and organized. This video is not sponsored by Grove Collaborative, but Grove Collaborative has very, very good products. As you see, I have some samples. When you reach a certain amount of stuff you order, Grove Collaborative will let you get free stuff. So all this stuff you're seeing now is from Grove Collaborative. I have not bought anything from there in a while due to finances, but Grove Collaborative is one way if you want to start out getting your cleaning products together in your home. As you are seeing now, this drawer is a mess. It is very dirty. It has a lot of waste um, products in it, washing powder, all kind of stuff in it. And I do see behind that washer, one day I'm gonna pull it out and clean behind there, but the day is not the day, cause this is gonna take a while. Right here I have my Tinko uh, vacuum, and I'm gonna go ahead and get some of the bits and pieces of debris out of here that I can. I don't use my vacuum cleaner for all kinds of things because I don't want it to get clogged up too bad, but I am gonna to try to clean out some of this drawer before I wipe it down.
Okay, right here I noticed that my door is very dirty. It has a film on it, so I'm gonna get some cleaner and I'm gonna clean my door off. All this comes from all the different products we put in our washer and all the different things that are coming off of our clothes. So you have to clean your door also. So this is something I haven't done in a while, but I'm gonna use this Spick and Span um, all-purpose cleaner, and I'm just gonna clean and disinfect my door. so much better we have clean and disinfect the drawer now we're going to put the products back in um, I have several duplicates of products but I'm not going to throw them out and I'm not going to put them in a different place because if I do I won't remember where they are and I end up buying the same product I already have so we're going to put the products back in here and we're going to get ready to start cleaning up our next project like a Clorox um, cleaner. I think it was on sale at one of the stores and I just bought a whole bunch of them and I have not used them all yet. So I think I'm gonna start using it to do some disinfecting in other places in the house because I do have a lot. Right here is just a preview of all the stuff that I pulled out from underneath the washer and we have to get all that cleaned up and put away. So let's keep going. pots you see the look on my face this is a hot mess I don't know why I have so many of these in the bottom but that's okay we're gonna use them and I need to get them in their right containers so let's keep going
like we're moving on to the dryer, up underneath the dryer in the dry drawer. There's some more of that Clorox cleaner. Boy, we have a little bit of everything under this dryer. We're gonna get all this stuff cleaned out of here so that we can see what do we have. I have bags of, looks like parts. I have a cleaner for my dryer, which I bought probably months and months ago to clean out my dryer vent, never used it. Uh, why I have an air freshener under there, I don't know. Must have been a smell, so I put an air freshener under there. <laughs> I have my gloves. I have all kind of stuff up underneath here. That looks like something to go to a radio. Why do I have that under there? And paint, I have stain. Look at there, I have all kind of stuff. Dye, I was gonna dye one of my dresses, never did it, but that's all right. We're gonna get all this cleaned out. I do see under this dryer, some of the, um, the little bead, scent beads have waste all under here. I don't even know when that happened, but we're gonna get it cleaned up. Let's keep going. the stuff I pulled out. We're gonna go through this stuff, keep the stuff that we need, and throw away the stuff that we don't need. All right, let's keep going.
I decided to take a look inside of the dispenser for the washing liquid, washing powder, and fabric softener, and look uh, there. Look at all that mess down in there. Oh my goodness. It was so nasty. So much black stuff in there. I have not pulled that thing out in so long. I am totally embarrassed to even clean it, but I am gonna clean it. This is everyday living. So you have to get in there and get this stuff cleaned out. It is looking so much better. I have to get in there and get all that stuff out with brushes and cleaner and cloths and paper towels, but we're gonna get it done. How many of you have pulled your dispenser out and see what's all back up in there? You might better do it because you probably will be surprised. Okay, I took the dispenser to the sink and I am now scrubbing it out, trying to get all the Cape Dawn washing powder and fabric softener out of here. This is just gonna help your washer run a lot better. So how many of y'all need to get in there and pull that dispenser out and just let it soak, sit in some water for a while. That'll help loosen up all that fabric softener and washing powder. Right. looks like we have it all good and clean to the best of our ability so now we're going to try to assemble it back and I was having a time I was struggling I knew that the bottom piece the long part should go to the bottom but I didn't think about lining up the holes so that I could snap it in to place then this little piece that goes to um, put in your fabric softener no your washing powder um, that you pull up and then you let it down for any liquid. I forgot to put that in, so I had to take it back apart. But we're gonna get it together and get this laundry room decluttered. This is my dryer vent, um, and it is nasty. And this is the vent cleaner that I bought probably months and months and months ago. But we're gonna get to the sink and we're gonna do some cleaning of this vent um, filter because it is very dirty. As you see in this video, the water is so nasty. I pulled out my Dawn so I can go ahead and see if I can get that a little bit cleaner because it is very dingy and I have a brush. This brush is soft. So I wouldn't advise to get nothing too hard to actually scrub on the vent part of it because you might rip it up. But I went ahead and used a soft brush trying to just get a little bit of the dirt off of it.
as you can see, it is looking so much better. Look how clean that filter is. How many of y'all have ever cleaned your filter in your dryer? Maybe you should take it out and see if you can get it clean just like this. I am so surprised how dirty this filter was. where the filter goes and clean out some of the lint that's down inside of this vent. Um, it's a lot in there, you all. It's just a little tool that I had picked up. I believe I bought it at Kohl's um, department store over there where they have all their cleaning products at. Um, and when I get down in there, you'll see all of the lint that I'm pulling out of here. I was unable to get all the lint out, but I did get a lot. dryer cleaned off and the top of the washer to get everything back organized in the laundry room. and my dryer. Um, you really don't see it until you start wiping it off. In the comments, how many of you all have the same issue where your washer and dryer collects a lot of dust and lint? Um, please leave me a comment.
some labels that I had ordered from Amazon a while back. And it is for my kitchen declutter, but in that stack of labels, they did send me some that could go in my laundry room for the pods and for the washing powder. Um, so I am going to go ahead and get my containers labeled. you are getting to the end of my video and again I want to say thank you thank you for watching let's clean and decorate with Gigi and also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel this would help my channel out a lot and don't forget that like button that lets me know that you're glad I'm here and you're watching and enjoying my videos and that bell button that will let you know what upcoming videos I have and when they are out there to view so don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that bell button. And please come back because we have a lot more decluttering to do. This is 2024 and we're going to get it all done. <music>